Gaming controllers are very popular and unique input device. It has plenty of buttons and two analog sticks. We JavaScript developers should make use of this device and in this video we're gonna find out how. It is very simple. Connect your gaming controller and in JavaScript console if you type navigator.getGamePads then you're going to get a list of gamepads. Normally the first element will, have, will contain the gamepad element. In this gamepad element you will get buttons and axes. These four axes are for two analog sticks. And the buttons array contains gamepad button states. So this API is coming from web gamepad API specification. And unlike mouse and keyboard where we have events like key down or click, there is no gamepad button events. So you have to get the gamepad states every time you want it. Let's write some code to find out. For this example, I'm going to call the gamepad object uh, in regular intervals. So we're going to use get inter uh, set interval. And for each 100 millisecond, I'm going to call this function. Here I'm going to use the navigator.getGamepad API. So navigator.getGamepads are going to give a list of gamepads. I'm going to get that list in one array. And if gamepad 0 has some value then we can use that. Axis will have the information of the analog sticks. So let's console log it and find out if it is printing any values. Alright now if I run this code and if I move my analog sticks you can see it is showing values. Then if I do the same thing for buttons gamepads.buttons you can see that we are getting the button states and each button state you can find out the states of the buttons so this is one simple example normally in a real game you will have one game loop in that game loop normally uh, you should call this get gamepads api to get the state of the buttons 